today we are checking out wa productions insta composer 2 which is an ai driven vst plugin for that works for both windows and mac yes we've heard this story before we're gonna see if it is good or not and i'm gonna win with my hot takes full disclosure wa productions sent this to me for the free just for review purposes clearly and a link will be in the description box that it won't be an affiliate link by the way guys just for you to try out the demo version because they have a demo version of it so that means they have a level of integrity about their product and i can't hate on a company that will give a demo version because for some godforsaken reason people don't like doing that these days and it's kind of weird. So we're in everyone's favorite DAW, which is Ableton Live 11. I'm just joking right now. But this is the UI for Insta Composer 2, and it is quite ugly as fuck. Hey, I'm just keeping it real with you, WA Productions. Your UIs be horrible. But just because the UI is horrible looking, in my opinion, that doesn't mean that it might not be an effective plugin. So, you know, all that set to the side. Uh, so how it works basically is that you get six different tracks in which you can change what the track does. You have a choice between melody, riff, whatever the hell that word is, rhythm, bass, pad, pad two, chord, and drums. Yeah, so that's one of the new features. I do not remember this in Instant Composer 1. And the other side of it that I see is this right here where you have different scenes, meaning that you can generate different scenes and try out different ideas. Uh, given the things that you have set up in the generator area in which you can do an all you can just press go and Then you have stuff instantly drawn out now. I have plugins pulled up or whatnot I do not have this set up to channels because from my testing earlier it didn't work in Ableton live very well I don't know how to set it up either So, you know, don't hold WA productions accountable for my stupidity what I can do is just drag and drop stuff over. Uh, you can do that as well uh, with your demo version if you wanna try it out. Uh, what I have over here on track number four is Kareem Riggins Drums, which is a Contact 7 library that has like some really dope drums. And so you can see you know, where I'm gonna go with this. Uh, as soon as I press uh, play, you can hear what uh, the drum track has right now. And this is pretty dope. So far, that sounds pretty cool. Um, maybe I, I wanna, let's see if I can double time that or something. Uh, let's see if that works. I'm gonna go ahead and just generate and then slide over. Nothing. So I actually like that drum line. I, I tried to double time it or whatever and it didn't work, uh, but I, I guess I'll just go to double and let's go ahead and just drag it over. That's not bad. For an idea for drums, you know, just given that, you know, I'm using some fire drums from Kareem Riggins. The, the big thing is this right here, what I'm worried about. Uh, so now that I have everything over, uh, let's go ahead and go into factory. I do remember one of the things I did not like about the original is that it, it didn't have much soulful shit. Uh, so I'm gonna go to a C minor, C minor, C minor, G sharp minor, G, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. Uh, I'm cool with everything resetting over here because I just want the chord progression. And I'll just make sure, okay, you can set it uh, to like a C minor. You can, you can change it to a major minor or whatever you want if you wanna do that. And you can also make it to where, you know, when you generate stuff, uh, that it has a uh, different, uh, let's see, let's make sure that I'm generating on number five. You can see that. And then I'll hit go and also have Fabric Excel on here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, drag this over and hope that something cool will come out of it. Not necessarily what I wanted, but it's okay. So I think the other thing that you can do on here uh, that I've always missed since undo no changes. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and click off that. And 
they have like a different view. So let's click on track number five. Can I click on track number? Oh, there we go. You have to click on uh, the actual number and you can view the track. So you can edit stuff inside of here. Like this is a piano roll. So that's pretty nifty if you want to change notes and stuff like that. Uh, I, I'm not caring about that right now. Uh, but what I will do is uh, I will go up an octave because I think that's far too low. And let's just go ahead and just regenerate something. Uh, let's regenerate it and just drag it over because It's a little darker than I want it to be. So let's go ahead and generate something else and hope to God it sounds better. <laughs> Cause right now I'm not really amused by it. Uh, it's okay so far. Just like generating something out of thin air. Uh, the drum line was okay. You know, mind you, you, you wanna pick out the best drums possible for whatever you're trying to convey with your music or whatnot. You know, until we get a, a a great drum picker plug in or whatever, and I'm not talking about no fucking drum monkey. Uh, eh. So what I'm looking at now, I'm I'm just gonna go and let's try uh, let's do F minor. You know, F minor is usually uh, if I can get an F minor and a, and make it a seventh. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it a seventh. Uh, well, let's see. There we go. We can do sevenths right here. Minor six. Uh, minor, I don't want to do a minor seven flat. Let's do that. Yeah, and you can change the position of the chords too. By the way, right over here, you can see where you have your chords land. And you know, if you want to, you know, predict something a little better or, or easier, you can do that. Uh, you can also change the beats and bars, of course, uh, for whatever the job uh, is needed. And if you want to go to another scene, of course, you just hit a scene and then you can try something different from there. Uh, I do not want to F major though. I want to F minor, F minor, and then I'll generate chords there and you can see them generate over here. Uh, then I'll change that to again, a F minor seven, uh, start off with a seven. Let's see if we actually get something, something more soulful. I'm gonna pray to the soul gods that this can be a little bit more soulful than what it is. And yeah, let's go ahead and press play on that. Uh, overall, it's a okay plugin for what it is. Uh, I don't necessarily like how what it generated for the drums. You know, I had to dig a little bit, but I mean, it's I'm just auto generating. You know, what I'm saying the basic idea behind any of these plugins is to generate something that will spark some inspiration and then you can go on from there and you can take that information from instant composer too and and use it with other uh generators or yeah different ideas and and for example uh with the push 2 you have built-in scales and you know you can just write your complementary melodies behind what you generate in your chords uh, i tested out the bass lines they're not what you want this is not I, I, I'm sorry in that instance, but yeah, it's okay for generating ideas. And I think the price point right now is what? Oh, let me check. It's 32 bucks right now. And that's kind of hard to argue against if you want something of a MIDI generator. Uh, I've used MIDI generators on things like the iPad and they come up with some pretty damn good ideas. Clearly the MIDI generator that I love or music theory plugin I love is Scalar 2 and that's because there's so many people that are contributors to that and it's easy to write things that might be in the pocket that I like which is soul and the, the, the general idea of soul on here needs to be implemented or just by genre I would make sure that you know the people over there at WA Productions understand that uh, some people do not understand uh, core progressions for what it is unless they are music savvy so i would recommend making it simpler for people that just don't know but they know oh i want soulful jazz or something like that you know uh, or i want trap to the right of me i have more content for that ass make sure that you subscribe uh let me know how you feel about instant composer 2 is it something that you're interested in 
If so, the link is in the description box. Again, it's not an affiliate link. Just try the demo and see if you can outdo me. I'm not here to be teaching nobody. I just want to give a review.